All right. Hey, good morning. I mean, afternoon, I guess. I'm still not used to the regular uh, dose of uh, Be Refreshed Life Edition. But um, yeah, man, it's good to see you guys today. I hope all is well. I, yesterday, um, I had every intention of teaching, uh, but I just couldn't figure out how to make it work. It was the end of the month, and um, Tammy and I have been looking for a car. I knew the end of the month is a great time to go negotiate uh, prices with a car, and so uh, we just uh, did that. So we went out, uh, went over to Atlanta, and um, bought a car and brought it home, and so uh, now we're good to go again. And those of you know, we had a wreck and lost our car, so. Anyway, we uh, found a really good good deal, good replacement, and, uh, you know, everything's good. So, hey, today um, I, I want to get back to the same topic uh, that we've been working on, and it's simply this one question. How can I let life get better? How can I let this get better? So we talked about our fitness last week. This week we're talking about finance. Uh, but the question that we ask ourselves is, how can I let my financial situation get better? There's seven areas that we all struggle with to keep in balance. Uh, we can get really good at one and maybe lose the other. To find growth and balance in those seven areas where, like the wheels of a spoke, they're all in, in perfect timing and alignment with each other, so you just roll down uh, the road of life, or you they, they bend and they, they twist, and then you've you're got a bumpy ride. But we all uh, ha- need to grow in the area of faith, right, an understanding of who God is and what he's doing for done for us and for our perspective who we are in Christ and so that's important family is important making sure that we take time for family we lean into family that that it's where it ought to be Uh, friends vitally important to life it's a it's a huge piece of life to have friendships and to walk through this life we were not meant to to live alone Uh, and then there's the area of our field that place in which we work whether it's a stay-at-home mom a a full-time student someone working for someone else or owning a business, uh, whatever that could be, maybe even retirement, and you found another passion that's more of a hobby. Uh, but we, we, should, we should, how can we let that get better? How can we let our finances get better, which is what we're looking at today? How can we let our fitness get better, and how can we have more fun? How can we let fun get better? So that's the question we'll be asking every week, is we just kind of meander through these topics. And so uh, right now we're on the topic of finance. We say there's three components really to, to finance and how. So we ask the question, how do we let it get better? One is, is our spending. That is our outflow, what, what goes out. Then there's income, right? Um, and, and then there's like the saving and the spending part of it. And then there's giving. Those three components are crucial for, for all of us who uh, who live life and worry about finances. So the question is, how do we create more margin? That's really what we're after. Margin is an incredible thing to have. Who doesn't like margin, right? When you've got more money at the end of the month, when you've got, um, uh, you know, margin is, you mean you get first class on the airplane as opposed to, uh, having to be scrunched in like, like cattle in the, in the back margin, like spread out, right? Just room. And, and so this is what we've been talking about. So two days ago, we looked at the area of spending and how can I let my spending get better? And we talked about ways in which we could cut some costs. We could create margin in our life, right? There's a very helpful thing. Have you noticed when people get a raise, they get a new job, uh, if they were in debt before, you think, hey, man, they got a new job. Now they're going to get out of debt. And what really happens is that they don't. Uh, they stay in, in debt and... Uh, they get deeper in debt because they bought something new. They bought something bigger. And it's just a foolish way of, of living life in a lot of ways. And so uh, we're just asking the question. Hey, if that's how you choose to, that's fine. You grow your financial situation the way you want to. But practically speaking, margin is what, what we're after. And we want, I want money to, to be my servant, not my master. Right? That, that real freedom is being uncontrolled by anything other than Jesus. If my money and my job and all those things control me, I'm not really free. And and so this is kind of the goal. So today I want to talk about spending uh, and investing. Uh, because when you cut spending and you create that margin, that's like making money. Now you So let's say that you were uh, barely ab- above water. Maybe you were $300 down this month and you'd kind of figure it out and you'd, you'd either you know, borrow something or you would, you would sell something on, on you know, however you'd marketplace or whatever. Or maybe you got a little raise, maybe an income tax, whatever it is, and then you're above water and you, you kind of do that. But what if, what if every month, uh, well, and some of you may be saving, and you got $200 a month or whatever. What if you get five, right? And all of a sudden you think, man, there's margin now. 
with that, I can make money. Now, I have options, right? I can, I can save it, throw it in the bank. Right now, they're giving very little for that. I'm not really making any money on there. I'm just, I'm just finding a holding place. It's not a really great investment, just to put it there. Uh, I could give it. I could put it in a money market, or I could, uh, uh, you know, invest it in the, in the stock. I could invest it in Bitcoin. I could do those things. And if I'm careful, I might could, could make some money. There's nothing really wrong with that either. Uh, but but at the same time, investing that money rather than saving that money is probably a better bet. But you have to decide what is that. How where can I invest to see my money grow? Right? There's lots of ways to do that. It's a thinking man's game or person's game, but but you can do that. So. We ask ourselves that question: How 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 can I let my saving habit get better? Right? There, there are apps that you can get that when you buy something and there's some change involved in that, instead of it, uh, they they round up and all that extra money goes into a savings account. I think it's called Stash or something like that. There's all sorts of things like that that you could do. So you know you could uh, you can figure out a way to save money um, and and invest it in, in certain things. We talked about having a thousand dollars as fast as you can get a thousand dollars where you can get your hands on it. But, uh, but it's not that easily to get to that's emergency fund. You, there's less stress in your life when you realize, Hey man, the tires are bad. Oh no, our tire went out. Oh, what am I going to do? You got to put on a credit card. You're going to get deeper in debt. Or you could say, man, I got that thousand dollars. I'm going to go get, a, I'm going to go get that. I'm going to get that tire. Right. That's how it works. So, Investing is a crucial piece. So I would ask you the question, and this is kind of where we're going. How can you let your life get better? How can you let your life get better in that area of, of saving? What could you do? Could you auto draft money into some place? Could you put more in your 401k if that's kind of your deal in life? Uh, could you find an investment? Could you find another person you could go in with and maybe, uh, you know, buy a piece of property, maybe do something with that, rent, rent it, uh, you know, those kind of things. Could you, could you take that money and turn it into some, some sort of a, an opportunity to make money, you know, a gallon of gas with your lawnmower, and there you go, right? Those kind of things uh, is what, what we're looking at. The, the third component, we're going to go ahead and talk about this one today too, uh, since we kind of laid off last week, is the area of giving. And it's, it's often one that um, people really neglect. How can I let my giving get better? Here's what I do. And it's, it's a, you know, this is what we've done, and it's always served us well. It was what my parents did. It served them well. It was what Tammy's parents did, and it served them well. Uh, and you can think what you want to about the tithe and all of those things, and I don't want to get off into your legalism and all of that. I'm simply telling you that if you get in the habit of taking 10% of everything you make and you give it to the Lord, and I don't necessarily mean through church. It could be through mission organizations and other places. Uh, there is a dynamic that you can't factor in where you will grow your money in a way that you can't even understand. There, there have been times where we have just been faithful to give, and it looks like there's no way we're going we're gonna to see our way out of something, and, and almost every time it works. Because there's a principle in the Scriptures where he says um, that, you know, bring your tithes into the storehouse. And again, I don't want to argue with people about Old Testament, New Testament. I'm going to tell you the principle. The principle is, if I honor God with my wealth, he opens up the windows of heaven, and he pours out blessing on us. The eyes of the Lord, the Chronicle says, looks to and fro about the earth, that he may strongly support those whose hearts are fully his. Where our money is demonstrates where our heart is. That's what Jesus says. So if my, my mindset is I'm going to hoard and buy stuff, then I'm not really, my heart really isn't in the area where it, it ought to be. But if it's that I'm going to be generous and willing to share, which is how those of us who, who, are, who have margin should do, uh, we, we gain much. Uh, he who lends to the Lord, uh, lends to the poor, God will repay. So we support various ministries and we support other things. And it's an intangible that you can't really put down on paper. But for us, it's a game changer. One, I enjoy life that way. I enjoy knowing that I don't work for myself. I, I work for myself and for my friends around me who may have need because there's going to come a time when I'll have a need and they'll be able to meet mine. And so th these are the questions that you want to ask yourself. So to wrap up for, so we can get out of here, um, how can you let your life get better in the area of spending? What can you cut? How can you let it get better in the area of saving and investing? What, what can you do with that margin that you have? And how are you doing in the area of giving? Are you hoarding and selfish? Because if you are, it's a terrible way to live life. 
uh, you, you, you should find, there's always people who have need. Just, just go, go do that. Just go take care of people. Just, just now when I saw this video, Tammy just said she made some banana bread, which we're not, I'm not really eating that kind of stuff right now, although I'm, she makes amazing bread. So she ended up taking it to some neighbors, uh, and she made some, she's like, who, who should I give this to? That's a principle woven in Tammy. That's why she always seems to have margin and a joy of life. And so I just want to encourage you that way. Now, if you were to take all three of those areas, spending, saving, and giving, what would you, how would you rate yourself in that on a scale of one to 10? Like, just like you did fitness, how would you rate yourself? All we're doing now is get a, getting a feel for where we are. You take the rest of the day and maybe tomorrow and figure that out. And Monday, we're going to come back. We'll pick a new topic and we'll be off to the races. Man, Lord bless you guys. I hope you all have a great uh, rest of the week. Happy holidays to you. Enjoy the fourth and be safe. All right, Lord bless you guys.